Hey guys, what's up? DV here. Got another tutorial for you. This one at the request of PDRG and Victorious from FX Home, creating titles using FX Home Vision Lab software. First, we're going to open up uh, Adobe Photoshop. I have the CS5 version, but any version will do. And we're going to create a text file using an alpha channel background or a transparent background um, to then make our title in Vision Labs. So you want to go to New, set your project setting, settings for width, height, resolution, and then choose the background color or items as transparent and click OK. It's going to come up with a blank canvas here. Uh, and you can see the checkered background. You want to go ahead and select your text tool and then uh, select any of the options for it, including color, font, style, and size. And then uh, we're going to create just any title that you want to make. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, uh, type whatever you want. And this is going to be the title that we overlay our video use with um, in the FX Home software. So I'm just going to go ahead and type Peru video. I'm going to use a quick, a quick clip from my uh, Peru vacation video um, as the test for this, for this video here. We want to go to File, Save As, when you've got everything looking good. Name it whatever you want and choose the file type as dot png which will preserve the alpha channel background and allow for it to be automatically keyed out using vision lab so you want to go ahead and start up vision lab and bear with me i'm working on my laptop here so it's a little bit slower than i'd like but it's opening um, and then you want to go to select video clip choose the video that you'd like to add uh, the title to uh, you want to go ahead and change the project settings i'm just changing them to match the 1080p video um, from my hd sr12 uh, video camera. There we go. It's going to load in a second. Um, and then we got our video clip. We're going to resize the canvas and uh, go ahead and open. You click on the open uh, folder there and select your title uh, PNG file that we just saved. You want to go ahead and drag it from the open media box to right on top of your video clip. And then you can go underneath the title you just imported under animation, and you can change the scale and quad settings to rearrange where you'd like the video uh, text file, what size you'd like, and reposition it wherever you'd like on the video. And then you can go ahead and render it like this, or you can go ahead under the animation tab, you can change some more settings to make like an animated title. So basically what I'm going to do is go to the first frame, set it as a really small scale, 0.01. I'm going to shorten the clip here, um, and then press OK and then I'm going to go to the last frame in the video and basically raise the scale up a bit to like uh, I think a 0.5 or 0.6 and it's going to make it a little bit bigger and then what happens is when you go to the first frame and press play you can see that it gradually becomes larger and just disappears so I think I'm happy with these settings I'm going to go ahead and go to the render settings and change them to whatever I'd like for the rendering. Um, I'll just go ahead with uh, .mov QuickTime format. I think I uncheck everything and then I go to render and I just type in whatever name I'd like for the video. It doesn't really matter. And I click save and then the box is going to pop up with some quality options that you can change. Um, there's a nice selection in Vision Lab which is very nice. So I go ahead and select best, and I select the compressor as none, and then I press, I believe, OK. Yep, there we go. And then the video is going to begin to render. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.